Hi everyone, I'm Tyler. And I'm Alex. Welcome to Unit 4, Tragedy in Tigray. Ethiopia, Africa's oldest independent nation, is facing a new tragedy. Ironically, this comes after the Ethiopian president was recently awarded a Nobel Peace Prize for making peace with Eritrea, which was once a province of Ethiopia. Now, however, it looks like his country may be torn apart again. In a country with more than 80 ethnic groups, Tigrayans make up about 6% of the population. But in 1991 to 2018, this ethnic group formed an elite which dominated the nation's military and politics. Now, the nation was very prosperous during that time, but people have raised concerns now of corruption and human rights violations. Prosperous. Prosperous. Popular discontent led to the resignation of Ethiopia's Prime Minister back in 2018, and he was replaced by one Mr. Abiy. Uh, Abiy is a member of the Oromo ethnic group, uh, who make up about 45% of the population of Ethiopia. Uh, when he was elected to the um, uh, Prime Ministership, uh, he introduced a number of reforms, uh, including to take the government from a federalist system to a more centralized government. However, uh, this did not sit well with the Tigrayans. Uh, the Tigrayans remember how famine was used as a weapon against their region in order to keep it weak when the government was a more centralized government in the past. Federalist. Federalist. Famine. Famine. After all, it was the Tigrayans who were on the front lines when the country was battling its own communist dictatorship back in the early 90s. Would you ever consider visiting Ethiopia? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm very much uh, uh, somebody who loves to travel. Uh, and uh, I would very much like to go to Ethiopia. I would like to go to East Africa in general, actually. Um, I would love to go to Kenya. I think mm. Kenya is my, on my number one. Mm. Uh, like, that's at, my, at the top of my list. Um, yeah. But Ethiopia is probably a close second. How yeah. about you? Yeah, um, I'd like to travel first a bit more around Asia. Um, but I think it'd be awesome to go to Africa one day. Nice. Cool. Great. Well, that'll do it for our preview. We'll see you guys back for the review.